everybody it is uh, Wednesday the 19th of December 2018 let's clean this chart off for a minute this is the 15 minute chart of the uh, S&P 500 and the one main thing to notice on this chart is what I talk about all the time the direction of the five-day moving average we don't trust rally attempts when we have a declining five-day moving average I can't uh, begin to count the times I've said that over the last decade uh, and I say it over and over again because people are always trying to buy the market when it's on sale supposedly but the market can continue to go on deeper sales and that's what we have here we have more supply uh, than is being demanded for equities that's the reason they're down the S&P 500 did undercut the prior low here so uh, that now puts us in a position where we need to look at a bigger time frame and we will look at the weekly time frame and on here I should have those VWAPs for some reason I don't but we saw of course that the volume weighted average price from the election was undercut last week and now we're down to the volume weighted average price from this low this is also as I noted earlier in the week the 38.2 percent retracement of the move from the December uh, I'm sorry from the 2016 low to the uh, high that we saw this year so we have two things in this area that tell us here's a potential level of support we also have, of course, the fact that that is a round number being 250. This is actually at two, $250 and 37 cents is that VWAP and the uh, 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 retracement is also in that area as well. But now when we look at this market, you can say, okay, it's due for a bounce and we can say that over and over again. But look at where we are and we've, you know, we now have all this overhead supply potentially. Even if we do get a bounce, you certainly cannot trust it. And we have a declining 10, 20, 30, 40 week moving average. These are things that are not new to the discussion here. These are things we've talked about over and over again. So yes, we're, uh, you know, we got pretty oversold here today, but there is nothing, nothing at all that says we can't continue lower. If you're looking to buy, wait for actual evidence. There is no evidence that the buyers are attempting to gain control, not when you see the market end like this. The NASDAQ is also, uh, you know, uh, below its declining five-day moving average and has been the uh, all you know and on the bigger time frame we have the declining 20 50 100 200 250 day moving average and we have most importantly a very clear pattern of lower highs and lower lows the sum of the declines will be greater than the sum of the rallies if we when we remain in a downtrend that doesn't mean you would buy it above this level because it would have had to expend too much energy to get up through that level we need to take it one piece at a time but understand that we frame it within the bigger picture the volume weighted average price uh, from the election right now is I'm sorry not that's not the election we've already undercut that that was over here um, so let's just put that back on there that's the volume weighted average price from the election where we are l currently uh, testing the volume weighted average price from the summer of 2016 that's just a little bit below us perhaps it continues down to that the other thing that I wanted to point out and go back to on the daily time frame of the S&P 500 was the other uh, point that we made about the measured move and if you recall we you know two nights ago we had mentioned this and what we talked about is this is this high was two hundred eighty dollars and forty cents this low was two fifty eight sixty two that's twenty one dollars and seventy eight cents so if we take two hundred seventy one dollars uh, I'm sorry twenty one dollars and seventy eight cents and subtract it from point C, uh, uh, C here that would give us a downward objective of 247.22 so don't think it can't go lower and there aren't other levels below this market that might be the uh, potential support level perhaps it's the volume weighted average price off of this low where this trend began that would get us down in this case to about 244 um, let's go over to the Russell 2000 because this has really been the uh, you know the the bigger uh, you know problem for this market in that it's undercut all these you know the volume weighted average price uh, from this low and then of course from the election and from these lows and even from this low here now what's the next potential level we would take it off of this peak and say maybe it's heading down towards this 131 uh, 70 ish level that's uh, so let's just clean that up and say here's off of that peak and here's off of that low so once we've undercut that this is the next bigger potential 
potential level. We also want to look at the Fibonacci and say from the 2016 low to this year's high, you know, we're down 50% right now. There's, you know, typically maybe a 61.8% retracement is, you know, what's considered still a pullback. So don't think you c it can't be, you know, get any worse. The semiconductors, we've spoken about it for a while. They're in a stage four decline lower highs and lower lows with a declining 10, 20, 30, 40 week moving average. They tried to show some signs of stability this week, but as I pointed out, this is an ugly, ugly uh, chart and that, you know, after trapping the buyers right here, this was the bigger level of danger that if we broke below the lows here, that was likely to lead to a more fearful uh, bout of selling. And that's exactly what we got here this afternoon. You can say, well, it's just because of the Fed doesn't matter what the reason is it ma what matters is the, the the market moves in the path of least resistance it is easier for the market to go down than it is to rally if we get a rally in the semiconductors and you get all excited about it because you're up two three four percent this is most likely now going to be a level of resistance near about 89 and a quarter the biotechs as we spoke about you know they broke a bigger level they broke this prior resistance which had become support and they broke this uptrend line and now they're continuing lower i was hoping that we would get as i had drawn in a bounce first and then a decline but there are no bids in this market for biotechs or most stocks right now the uh financials of course this group was lower as well today this group is now down 15 percent year to date it's also below the volume weighted average price from that low so how about we take a look at from this low we're we're right on that it will this become an important area there's a lot of emotion you know attached to this area will this now become the level of, of uh, where buyers emerge we don't know but we can take a look and say is there any Fibonacci in here not really so what we're trying to do is not just fit things but we're looking to say is there is a reason from different participants in the market that might say hey I'm gonna stop selling and I'm gonna start buying well, a VWAP might do that, a Fibonacci might do that, but the fact is, when you have these markets below the declining five-day moving average, here's what you should expect to happen in the markets. We saw the five-day moving average act as exact resistance there. It got up through that briefly and sucked people in, uneducated money. And I say uneducated because we know that we look at this as what's the direction of the five-day moving average and don't trust these rallies because they typically do fail like this. The uh, energy names also continued lower. Uh, you know, oil was up earlier today, but you know, this market, this group of stocks continues lower. You can see that the volume expands in the direction of the trend and diminishes on the counter trend rallies. That's the way it's supposed to occur. And, you know, people say the, the biggest volume occurs at turning points. And that's true in hindsight. There's nothing here to say that this is the biggest volume that we will see in this market. So it remains, as do all of these markets, guilty until proven innocent.